Well, good morning and welcome to Casa Bacardi and this uh, special seminar on Cuba's current situation and future prospect. I appreciate all of the speakers and the moderators uh, on a Saturday morning. Uh, they left other activities to come and participate in this important seminar. Uh, in the first panel, we're going to look at the changes that have taken place since Raul Castro took over six or seven years ago. And uh, what are the impact of those changes? What are the significance? Is Cuba moving toward a capitalist society? Is Cuba moving toward a Chinese model? Or where is Cuba moving? But more importantly, how are these changes affecting uh, the day-to-day -day lives of the Cubans? The second panel is more complicated because there has been very little changes uh, politically in Cuba. Repressions continue. The system continues to be an ally of the worst regimes, Iran, North Korea, uh, Russia, and Venezuela. Uh, so uh, what can we expect in the near future? How can we look at the process of succession in Cuba? Are we going to see a change like many people expect the day Fidel and Raul die, or like we expect that there will be a succession and the regime will not collapse. So therefore, the hope of the Cubans that with the death of Fidel and Raul, this thing will unravel and end, it may not be a correct expectation. So this is the kind of things we would like to analyze, discuss, and there'll be time for you, uh, the participants, to speak and to make some comments. So let me turn it over to my colleague, Dr. Jose Acel, who will be chairing the first panel.